song. But this is Titus's banner. No, I don't think we have. Oh, I, it might have been in the announcements, but I don't know. When the uh, <clears throat> core character pickup is. Okay, so top of this banner, we do have another awakening, and um, it's awakened sharpshooter for uh, Titus. Obviously stronger with water, but uh, strangely enough, it could. I think it can viably be used with with fire and ice damage. It's not as strong because he is a. Uh, He's pretty water focused in a lot of the stuff that he does. Um, and I believe his legend dive is basically just water damage. Let me see. We're going to find out in a second. Yeah, 35% uh, chance to dual cast abilities that deal water damage. But, yeah, he's pretty insane for wa dealing water damage. Um, I talked about his awakening uh, briefly, is that he's uh, every third attack has an overflow attack. Or oh, an overflow chase attached to it. So your goal is basically to use six abilities during the 15 second awakening. So you can uh, overflow chase twice. Um, and, you know, maybe the boss will still be awake, or alive at that point. Um, a lot of wakings are very similar to each other, so it's going to sound, you know, I'm... There's not much left to talk about at this point. You kind of get the gist of what these do, and you kind of get the gist of what Titus does with his awakening, which is filthy, filthy things. Uh, to water vulnerable bosses, and it's definitely the torment as well. Um, not that exciting anymore, though. <laughs> not after the Terra and Bart's banner, uh, but still an, an amazing, an amazing piece of gear. I personally want it very much. Um, hope Bart's and Titus awakening together, together can get me through five star magicite without a chain. Well, I I think they can. <laughs> uh, I don't think Phoenix is a very difficult um, one of the more difficult bosses because it doesn't have a damage resistant um, rage mode, so you're not penalized that much for not having a chain. I think you can pull it off with a couple of awakenings. Uh, next up, we have uh, another ice chain. Uh, Laguna has the first physical ice chain. Uh, Celeste has a second. She's not a bad user. Uh, she does have an ability double USB. She does have. Um, she has an ice arcane. She has a. An awakening coming. Uh, I don't know. Laguna Chain is so, so, so much better, but if you don't have it, uh, this is actually a really nice thing to pull because I will very much appreciate having uh, this uh, to, on both my um, Typhon and Soldier teams because Snow sucks. With just, his cha with just the chain, Snow sucks. Snow can be much better. Much, much better with the, her other stuff. Yeah, I don't actually like Celeste's Awakening. But, um... Any, any way I look at it, this is a good pull for me. And I understand why this wouldn't be a good pull for a lot of people. Uh, even if you have got Renoa's Chain, it probably loses a lot of luster. But this here, uh, it, 
Strangely enough, I, I think this is something that'll appeal to more people. But I I want her chain much more than I want this. Uh, this is Celeste's USB 2. Um, which is a clone of Marsh's USB. Except for ice instead. It's been put on hold for a while, Dragon. Hopefully during, after this fest, I have more chances to, to tackle it. But I've been on just doing events in dailies mode for for a while now. So anyway, Celeste's USB 2 is a is a is a clone of Marsh's USB, which is um, oh no, not just a clone, but it also absorb enemy black. It's, it gives her uh, high runic as well. And gives high quick cast to everybody in the front row. High quick cast physically. Yeah, <laughs> skillet is gone now. So would this trigger if uh, snow spell strike hits for wind damage? Let me see. It's a good question. I don't have the answer to it. I have to be tested. <laughs> me too, dragon. Me too. Uh, so, speaking of Laguna and his chain, Laguna also appears on this banner. It's a very icy banner to go along with Titus's uh, small bit of water. Uh, we have Laguna's USB 2, which, um, which is pretty nice. It's an ability double for, uh, for Machinist. So this is a... Uh, Basically a clone of King's USB just for ice. It is unfortunately not an ice gun. Like uh, King's is a uh, ice gun or lightning gun. Um, I would say that this is better because of uh, the six star machinist ability. That this is better than Laguna's USB one. Because of the fact that you're casting so much with this increases the chances of you imperiling. So I believe he would not only deal damage, but imperil. Probably imperil just as well as his USB-1, but deal damage much better than his USB-1. So I I actually think this is an upgrade to that. I, I haven't forgotten, uh, but that is Laguna's USB-1. Which is not on this map. Luckily, Machinist abilities don't have a a little quirk like Sharpshooter does, and it doesn't matter if you use uh, ranged or not. So you don't need an ice gun, as long as you have an ice sword, which there are actually quite a few in the game now. And I believe there is one on this banner with Celeste's chain. So, that's a really good soul break. And here we have another clone, uh, Shadow. USB 2 is a clone of Yuffie's USB 2 and 3, except for Dark, where Yuffie's 2 and 3 are for Water and Earth, respectively. Oh, he's dive once again, that's true. That is very true, I forgot about that. So this is an extremely powerful soul break, uh, but <laughs> um, a lot of people are probably looking more at Cloud on Phase Four than they are uh, Shadow. But I mean, Shadow is still really good. Uh, Shadow is also extremely good for the Torment because uh, the physical blink that he can generate for himself uh, really kind of gets in the way of anything that that boss tries to the the, the quirks that Rex Soul tries to do. How hard is it to keep Ninja Blinks up in 5-star? Not hard at all. Uh, in... Uh, against Phoenix, it's very hard. Against Lakshmi, not hard at all. Uh, 
Got there before you, Borat. And Yuffie's USB 2 is still really good, it's true, against Phoenix, even though it's so hard to keep up physical blank. This is just going to shred much. So maybe you do bring it along with, with Cloud, because ninjas are great chain builders. Um, next up, Vanille USB 3. Instant Kiraga Medica, Regenga, and a full breakdown dance. A <laughs> uh, little weird. A little weird. I think it's it works well with her stuff. Uh, this is real torment stuff. It's not that great, but still very good for Torment. Uh, next up, we have Glints. Yeah, the 13 Torment is really hard, and that's true. So having all the stuff that you can possibly have for Vanille isn't a bad thing. And that's right, uh, Vanille did get support for access. So using all of those soul breaks isn't isn't that uh, isn't that crazy? Uh, okay, so. Uh, six instant ice non-elemental attacks and uh, an ice and an ice stacking for Laguna. That's gross. He probably becomes a disgusting character with just this. He doesn't need anything more than just this. If you got more, that that's great. Uh, and we have a glint. For Vanille, instantly haste the party and high quick cast three. I think that's useful in the torment. Is that boss D haste? In which case, yeah, it's pretty damn useful. Uh, Celeste's glint is pretty much meant to be used with her arcane. Um, just increases her crit chance to 100% and gives her high quick cast two. I don't know why why they're still making these. And this isn't even This isn't even the last time that they come out with this. There there was a new one just got released in Japan six months from now. 25% chance to grant quick cast one when using a water ability. This is garbage. They just gave a, a wind one to, to Lunith in the recent JP festival. Celeste starting out with ice because she's a ch uh, chain holder is a really good thing. Um, and especially with her USB 1, doesn't have an ice on it. So her being able to USB 1 after starting with an ice with this LMR, very good. And chain holder, not, not just a chain holder, but someone with a, an, uh, a stacking glint and uh, an imperil USB. Um, this is a, a very good LMR for Laguna as well. Was it ever good? This is the first time it's been released, Justin. I believe. Maybe I just haven't been, been paying attention. Yeah, this is the first time it's been released. Oh, has, has that type of LMR ever been good? No. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, no. Um, I really like this LMR on, on Edge and Yuffie. It's a 25% chance to generate a blink stack when using a ninja ability. So this is good for Shadow. Uh, and Vanille gets a... That's not a new Omar. No, she's had that for a while, I think. Small chance to temporarily increase white magic healing a large amount after using white magic ability. Doesn't sound impressive, 
but it is. Um, and we're starting to, to to see that healing boon is a is a pretty good um, a, a pretty good thing to put on your magicite, just because uh, everyone has so much health now that. that being able to heal more is actually really effective, and this, if this does proc, you notice it. I would assume so, yeah, furry. I think, I think it's good for more people. It's hard to deny the strength of what Terra and Bards bring, where 1, 2, and 5 specifically are very... You've got to, you've got to, you must have this, like, a more narrow use case of the stuff. Like, uh, this is an ice banner. This is a physical ice banner. How's your physical ice? And I wouldn't mind having a, an awakening ever. Uh, and I haven't done the Final Fantasy X Torment. So... That's a win for me. So I, I really like Physical Ice, so this is actually a really good banner for me. But it might not be for another person, where Phase 4 is just different. It's... Uh, Terra and Bart's just make it... hard for it not to be for you. Yeah, niche, I guess... I oh, Niche sounds too narrow. I usually save niche for the bad banners that... might just might have a chance to be good for somebody. This is an excellent ice banner. That's a good question, Raph. no way to say that, E-Daddy. They're four different people. Yeah. If you're talking about you personally, then okay, sure. And phase three is phase three. It, it does kind of qualify as you know, where were your dupes, really? Hope you don't have dupes if you need that Final Fantasy 15 stuff. But I guess it, Ignis's BSB is not available in Animal. Hmm. I'm just happy. I'm happy I don't have the dupes. Right, anyway, I really like this game. I haven't done the Final Fantasy X Tournament, the Final Fantasy VIII Tournament, I haven't done Sildra. Hell, I haven't even done Black Shreve. I probably could if I spent enough time on it. Getting this would help. I would prefer it was a dark thing in a, in a realm I haven't defeated the Tournament on already. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Well, I would much rather Cloud. <laughs> exactly what I said about Shadow. It's like, sorry, Shadow. I would really like Cloud stuff. His USB police specifically. What are your top three on each band? Well, Awakening. <laughs> um, besides the Awakenings, Vaughn USB 3. Furian, USB 2, Shanto Arcane, or no, probably Warrior of Light, USB 2, and Vaughn, USB 2. Phase 2, Reigns, USB 2, Chain, and Onion. Am yeah. I going to pull on Phase 1? It's not good for me.
Is the music loud? Yeah, this uh, this soundtrack tends to be a little louder. I'm probably just gonna remove it from the list. Vincent? Vincent, Riku, and Prompto. Top three. No, I won't, Taro. I didn't like the, the banner that JP got. It is good stuff. I'll just have to find some way to make those tracks uh, not as loud. So they're more normalized with everything else. Cloud USB 3, Rosie USB 2. I, I don't know, I guess Cloud Glint. Or Ferris's chain. I don't know, this is a tough one. Two of the spots are taken up by Awakenings already. It's not fair. Yes, I did say that, Tenor. It is, yeah. Yeah, that's how I look at it, Kubo. Laguna USB 2 and both the Celeste's things would probably be the top three on this one. Choices on Banner 2. Reigns USB 2, Alpha No Chain, and Onionite USB 3. There's some strong stuff on the core banner. It's just the, the way I play doesn't for the same reason I skipped Kingdom Hearts. Because there's nothing for those characters specifically to do that Realm can characters can't. I'm just a lot less interested in getting their stuff. You'd need to be a game breaker like Alara with her USB 1 or Tyro with his USB 4. Is, Tyro's not even... It's really good. Tower's used before is really good. And I believe those two are on the banner, but it's only two things. I don't really care about Dr. Mog, Biggs, or Wedge. gonna hundred gems. 